nice. Only seven in the morning. I don't go out usually this early to, uh, to do photography, but that's that's cool. The uh, light hits differently, and you never know what to expect. And that's the topic for this little uh, POV vlog from Nha Trang in Vietnam. Realistic expectations are what you can expect when you go out to do your street photography because everything is so random when we do this genre of photography. So you have to be ready and you have to know what you are looking for to get the best results. And for today we have, yeah, it's slightly overcast, but I think the sun will shine through these clouds quite soon. I certainly hope so. So I can get some high contrast images. I think that would look absolutely awesome at the beach here. If not, we just have to work with what we have. But we can look for layers, we can look for urban environments, we can look for cool characters in the streets. This city here has a lot to offer. So we can get some nice street photos. That would be cool. Let's go, POV style. I found arches here, and these can potentially serve as natural frames. Let's see. If I can only have a person stand between there or there, that would be cool. This space here is also quite nice. Big open space, not a lot of people. And you have the sea, you have the sand, you have the uh, horizon or the landscape, the mountains out there. I think this could work as cool layers, maybe. Here's a water jet coming. Maybe we can get a photo of that there. I don't know. But yesterday I got a nice layered photo right there. Pretty cool to work with. I like that. Especially in um, boring light. I like to find either colors or these layers. And here, I think I see something. But it's, that's the case with a new city especially. I have, have only been doing like one session yesterday, a small session of one hour. No idea what I can find in the streets. That's also the really cool thing about this genre. You never know. Sometimes you hit jackpot and everything you photograph turns to gold. But sometimes we get nothing at all, which is fine cool thing is to be out on the streets to uh, look for the things that we know works and work with what we have. I don't know if that made sense, but okay, let's try this. Okay, this is quite nice. This is what I'm looking for, minimalism. So we have this guy sitting over there, just chilling, having a cigarette, and uh, I think that was a cool shot. So the first cool shot, the first um, shot that I think, looked, okay, this is something to work with. That's always good. Oh, nice. The waves there, just as they break, that's a nice little layer right there. See, there's a dog. <laughs> Here's something, maybe. Okay, yeah, I think this works. Minimalism again, a couple sitting on the beach there, right where the waves crash down. I don't know how you say that, but and there we go. Yeah, in case I didn't tell already, I'm out with the X-T5 as always and the 33mm f1.4. That's my go-to setup when I'm out doing street photography on this, uh, this journey our one year of travel. It's the only prime lens I brought for street photography because that's what the one I want to get better at using. And it is really growing on me. It's a great lens to use. 
So I'll probably have a review or a um, like infield practical review of that lens quite soon. If you want to check it out, you should subscribe to my channel. Oh, but this is nice. I'm going to definitely get a few shots here. fisherman here having a cigarette trying to catch some fish but um, when I want to film these videos POV as well I definitely feel more of a pressure to create something good it's much easier actually to just walk around with the camera never mind the POV style but uh, that's what it is I'm trying to get something interesting to show you guys so I just use these umbrellas here these sun umbrellas or whatever you call it comment down below if you know what it's called in English um, as a front element and to frame this fisherman as he was sitting there having a cigarette and uh, trying to catch some fish that was quite nice because honestly I thought I would have more sun today so I could play with uh, shadows and highlights but apparently that's not going to happen at least in not <clears throat> at least not in a few hours but we'll continue down the beach here. Some interesting frames that I haven't done much of before. Um, and that's always cool. Going to new locations is a great idea for your street photography. You just have to have some realistic expectations. But I'm going to stand here for a little while, see if I can get something else as well. One thing you can do if you are getting stuck or yeah, if you have been spending too much time in one place, if you are stuck in that place, you want to change things up a bit, you just move to another location. I know, it goes without saying, but I just moved like 50 meters from the beach and onto the street and I was shooting to get some nice silhouettes. I think that worked out quite nice with the palm trees as frames. And uh, yeah, I do love a good silhouette. When I can't have these harsh shadows and highlights, silhouettes is the next best thing oh yeah so i'll try and get a few more shots of that here i got so many elements to work with and here comes a potential subject walking here and i think i'll get a very nice one look at this beautiful that was the beach the sidewalk, I was kind of expecting much more because yesterday the light was just perfect. Everything clicked. I only got a few shots, but it is what it is. So I had high expectations for today. Now the light isn't what I want it to be, but that's what I mean about um, having realistic expectations. Whenever you go out, if the previous day was really good, you can't expect to have that the next day. So. I've said that many times, but you work with what you have. The light is kind of soft now. I think still I can get some nice um, high contrast or semi high contrast images between the buildings here, which I'll just see. But first refuel with a cup of coffee and I'll continue for maybe, I don't know, another hour or something like that. Only been out for one hour and I'm quite happy with the results. I got some interesting-ish images portraying Natrang from my perspective anyway, and uh, that's, that's really cool. I got something to work with at least. But it's always good to go out and just be creative with your camera and um, train your eye to find more interestingness in everyday life, wherever you travel. I want to ask you one thing if you're watching this. What's a good way to make these POV videos? Should it be pure POV? Should it be POV with information about the thought process or gear or whatever? Because I, I want to make or take you guys with me in the field POV style, but I want to make it useful as well and we can't always get the images we want or the conditions we want as I've proved today. 
Um, so, yeah, that would be really interesting to know. Do let me know down in the comments and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.